Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video about my new uh, VTX. It's the uh, Spectrum SPMVT200, this one. Um, had some problems with my other camera cameras, and I uh, messed up my old Ishim e Banggood type transmitters, so I got this guy. It's pretty good. It barely fits on this... Uh, on this build though but um problem i'm having is on uh, 4s i'm having problems getting my goggles to uh sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work um getting lines which i know is common getting a pretty good picture there if you can see it i don't know but um it's black and white because it's not bright enough in here but uh it does go to color and everything. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to try a capacitor. Um, I ordered a 16-volt 100 UF capacitor, and I guess that's too low of a voltage, so I'm going to get a 20, 24 or something like that and just put it here and here, closest to the battery, they say, and that'll kind of absorb some of that dampening uh, back pressure, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the dampened light, for the braking. So, that's how it works. Um, I haven't found anything on YouTube about this, and usually when I say spectrum, spectrum transmitter, or VTX, it, the people just think that I'm thinking about a, a radio transmitter or something, because uh, there's no information on the interwebs, but this is kind of how it works. Uh, you push the button, you go through your channels, and you, uh, you change your bands right here. So I'm going to go to a race this morning. And I am going to be on 5800. So that would be... You got your free sky, free sky or whatever. Like race band right there. Whatever that is. And then so I'm going to go 5800. Um, my goggles, as you can see, I'm trying to chart out which ones they are getting and uh, yeah these goggles aren't these are the boss cam GS 920s and they're kind of funky it says band A there but it doesn't correlate with band A as you can see it goes 8 3 7 6 5 so there's some rhyme to the reason but there's something funky too so um if anybody knows anything has any suggestions please let me know but yeah i'm getting lines in my video on 4s so i'm going to be racing with uh 3s today which is fine i'm not that great of a racer yet anyway so 3s is probably better for me than anything but i do like to fly freestyle on 4s and uh it's really hard to change channels when i've got this thing put together because kind of sits like this sits underneath the lid like that so you can uh, you can change them if you want but you can't see that so I might have to cut out a hole or maybe enlarge the hole here on this cover it's a pretty tight build and uh, I'm putting in uh, a new flight board so I think I'm going to direct wire everything and that might give me enough room but I've got this uh, v my, my FlySky IA6B S bus receiver, which is pretty chunky. I have this up here in between my zip ties, and so far so good. But um, I'd like to get a little bit tighter, or if my Martian ever comes, which I don't think it will, because I ordered it from Hobbyin and they owe me some money back. But anyway, you can hook up this OSD with it, and uh, it's got the HS 1177 camera. I think I paid about 44 bucks for so a Spectrum, and uh, it also says SPM VC 650 TVL Horizon Hobby. So anyway, I hadn't seen anything on the web about this, and I just thought I'd throw it out there and uh, see if anybody's buying this transmitter VTX or this camera HS 1177. Uh, it seems to work fine, uh, except for the 4S problem, but I think that's more about my little B 30 amp pros, 
which are known to do that, so I might need to get some other ESCs. Might be better than trying to put a capacitor on there. But anyway, happy flying. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to put a little LED on the back here, too. Once I get good enough to uh, have someone chasing me, that is. All right. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.